Hey guys, welcome to another video. My name is Rusty Keen, the Brush In Gamer, and today I'm going to show you a how to video of how to make a Hexit server. Well, first you have to go to the Technic Launcher, uh, the Technic Launcher page. So just go to the page. So, oh, and then you get here, then, oh, it got. Okay. Then you go to discover official mod packs. If this will freaking work. Okay. Then you got official mod packs. And I if you guys want me to show you how to make a server on another mod pack, I'll show you. Just put down in the comments. Don't be shy. Just ask me. So you hit at hexit. Then you'll notice there's a server download. So what you have to do is hit server download. Then it'll start downloading. I'm, well, I probably do need to get it, but okay, here, server download. I'm gonna actually re download it for you guys so you know. And this is to me, like anytime one, someone wants me to make a server anything, like Mayanite anything, I, it's pretty much the exact same thing you would do for a regular server. There might be some differences, but so what you want, you want to do is right click on your desktop hit new or hover over new hit folder and then let's say hexit server and by the way guys I'm going to put a link in the description for log me into matchy I know you guys might not trust it but it actually works for me. I last time I downloaded it, I downloaded it from the wrong website, got a freaking virus. I was sad and I was almost like, oh my god, get me out of this world. I don't want this anymore. So all you need is uh the hexit server file. See you need a hex server you need a random file <laughs> called hexit server or whatever you want to call it. And then log me into a matchy, which I'm going to put a description mm. Link in the description, where to get it, the right website. Don't be like, oh, pfft, wrong website, noob. No, it's actually the exact right website. And I don't know if I might show you a walkthrough how to sign up for Log Me Into a Matchy. Because there are some stuff you should not press. Uh, maybe go over to Jason's channel and ask him. I don't really remember. His link in the description. His channel description is still in the description. I don't know how to talk today. So, all you need is the hexaserver file or, you know. And then, let's go back to when we downloaded this. It might be a WinWar file for you. My friend Jason, well, Dr. Rock Game, he did it and he didn't have WinWar because it's not letting him download it and but if you do have WinWar just go download that um if you have any questions by the way just about anything like is this gonna be a virus well that's no and what are the right links just tell me down in the description don't be shy so yeah then you get all this you see all this it will not work in the it will not work in the WinWar file. So you get the empty hexa server file. You know, let's close out Chrome. And then all you do is you take all of this and put it into that file. It'll take a little bit. So let's just wait for that. Okay, now it's done already. I didn't have to cut the video there. So you can just exit out of the WinWar file. You'll have this. So, you'll be like, what the freak do I do? So, all you have to do, let's, let's kind of do that. So, all you have to do with these files is, um, so, well, okay. If you guys remember the CMD that, um, is the launch when you open it, it looks like a CMD hit run and that looks like a CMD if that never worked for you all I did was renamed it dot bat I think or dot run 
and it worked, but now it works for me completely. Um, I don't remember which one it started working for, but I think I might have called it run. I'm not sure, but yeah, so I like named it differently, and it started working for me somehow. I don't know. I'm a wizard, so yeah. So let's get right back into this. So, here, let's move my exploit so I can see it better. Okay, so, all you have to do is run this, it'll, it'll download some stuff, and then all you have to, like, I, I have to do it just for the sake of the video. Oh, I launched the wrong thing, guys. I launched the wrong thing. Okay, right, that's going to be in the background because sometimes that takes forever to close and I don't want to worry about it. But now I'm going to worry about it. So I'm going to pause the video until I get that done. Oh. Never mind. It actually does it anyway. So it, it now you'll notice there's some extra files. I'm pretty sure. And you see this one that is, it just says server. You might be confused with the other ones. But this one, um, here. Uh, wait. So we had to make them large. Large, okay, so, oh, this is way better, I like this. Okay, so this one right here, you have to click on, and then you'll pop up with all of this stuff. Okay, so, the ones that you have to make sure about is server IP, which you'll get from Hamachi, or here. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do this, because I'll have to blur out some stuff, but all you have to do is, um... You have to go to start, type in CMD, and then this will pop up, and then you have to put IP config. And uh, let's, this is just tons of my other stuff. Um, all you have to do is, oh, eh. IP con config. So that's what you have to put. Right there, IP config. I'll put it on the screen right about now. So that's what you have to put. So, yeah, that's what you have to put into the uh, CMD. So, yeah. So, once you do that, let me open this back up. So, you get back in this. Uh, you put in the IPP4 address. And I think there's multiple, but with Hamachi, you actually go into it, you right click, well, it will pop up what it is by your name on Hamachi. So, yeah, on Hamachi, it'll show what it is, and then you can right click it, and it'll say copy IPP4 address and other stuff you don't have to use your actual IP that you shouldn't really tell anyone unless you really t trust them in our video I saw that but then I tried IPP4 and it worked and I thought you didn't need Hamachi but then I noticed that you did there I might do a uTorrent one because I think uTorrent is way better probably for this if you're scared of Hamachi I'll maybe do that for you guys uh, I'll have to re-download uTorrent and all that stuff and get the right link from my friend Jason so big props to him for help helping me out kind of with this so once you do that and everything uh yeah well yeah you have to put the IP then you can kind of mess around with the settings like text pack don't worry about online mode has to be true 100% it has to or well it's not gonna be online so, then you're going to see, uh, where is it? I don't know where it is. Um, I'll be back, guys. I'm going to try to get that file back. Get that file back. Uh, yeah, but I'll be back. Never mind, now that I just noticed, I actually do have to show this. You have to hit launch on this. You have to. Because um, there's something that it might pop up for you, um, but it didn't for me. It's called EULA, and it, it might say false. 
and then you have to make that true. So, uh, let's just wait for this to download. Well, I'm going to pause the video, and I'll see you guys when it's done. Alright, guys, now that I just noticed, you actually don't need the EULA. Because that's what I was talking about, the EULA. You are supposed to say true on it. For some reason, it's not there. And now I do have to say, which is kind of annoying, with Log Me to Hamachi, everyone needs to have Hamachi to join. You have to make a network, which I'm a little afraid to show my Hamachi because it shows my IPP4, and you guys can like easily join my server, which I... I'm not trying to be mean, but I don't want you guys to join because it's, like, ours, and I don't want you guys going in it and just, like, destroying it. So, yeah. I'm, I don't want it to sound mean, but I'm not saying I don't trust you guys. It's just I'm trying to be safe, guys. But, so, you have that, and now to launch the server, it's just hex it. And then you tell your friends your IPP4. It's not bad, it's your internet IP, I'm pretty sure, no, not your internet, but it's the IP that works, and it's not a IP that is, you know, something all crazy and all that. But, I do have to say, um, what was it? I am going to make a U-Torrent video, because U-Torrent is way more simpler, I think, right? I think U-Torrent is way more easier, and like... And plus, you can actually still get Craft Bucket. My friend has it. I don't know how we got it. I don't. But there's still a server download for Craft Bucket. If you guys want to check that out. Because it's your own Craft Bucket. It's your own IP. And you don't have to use, you know. And with this, you don't need... But well, with this, you need your IPP4. With... Um, craft bucket, you don't. You can make your own IP. They put the IP in on Minecraft. It works. And it's a 24 7 server. It's just that, um, I'm sorry that I keep on saying, um, because I'm thinking and ADD. But, um, but what really, what I'm trying to explain is. Craft Bucket is a little easier. I'm just showing you the way that, to me, was the fastest. And I got it done, and it's still perfect to find. You might need a good computer to run the server. I even sometimes have lag when I'm running the server and I'm playing. Eventually, I might even run the server on a different computer. In the future, though. In the way future. I might eventually just run the server on a different computer. I, if you have a separate computer that you can access at any time, but like if you can't access it every time and your friends are asking you to put up the server when let's say your mom's on it or your sister or your brother is on it or your dad, I'm not trying to be sexist, but uh, when they're on it in your if they're on it and your friends want the server up, I wouldn't suggest using that computer. Try to use a somewhat good computer so you can actually run the com server. But I have another computer. Just... I'll explain that later. But, so that's all you really have to do. I think I'm not missing anything. If I am, comment down below. If you... Below. <laughs> but, um... If you're having any problems, tell me down in the comments, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.